Tonight is a huge night in politics. It's the fourth Republican primary debate. Now, I haven't seen it yet because we taped the show early, and also because, please don't make me, but one thing we know is that tonight is make or break for Jeb, who has been struggling for months to show he can be a strong leader. But yesterday, in response to a question he got on the internet, Governor Bush took a bold stand. If you could go back in time and kill baby Hitler, would you? Hell yeah, I would. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, he would. That's politics 101. Shake the hand, kiss the baby, kill baby Hitler. <laughs> now, just to be clear, can we put up a picture of Jeb Bush's intended target? There you go. <laughs> Remember, it's Hitler. Can we Hitler him up a little bit? There you go. <laughs> Look at those. Look at those evil little cheeks. <laughs> Who's the greatest monster of the 20th century? You are. <laughs> Uncle Jim's got something for you. Stabby, stab, stab. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. It's a dangerous mission because Jeb, of all people, knows the high stakes of time travel. The problem with going back in history and doing that is, as we know from the uh, series, what was the name of the Michael Fox movies? Back to the Future. Back to the Future, it, has a, it could have a dangerous effect on, on everything else. So. But I'd do it. I mean, okay. Hitler. Yes, I mean, Hitler. Yes, as we all learned in Back to the Future, starring well-known actor Michael Fox, time travel could have all kinds of unforeseen consequences. I remember, remember German Reich Marshal Wolfgang Reinhardt? No, of course you don't, because someone went back in time and killed him as a baby, preventing World War I and a half. And yet, World War II happened anyway. That is why. That's why it's so crucial this question comes up in tonight's debate. When time travel technology arrives, you know the president will be the first one to use it. And you want a trustworthy leader at the helm of Time Force One. Someone who will use it responsibly and not waste it on taking Jesus on a pterodactyl ride. <laughs> I know it looks like fun. I know it looks like fun. But we've got to have priorities. Now, Ben Carson has said if he could go back in time, he would prevent the Holocaust by giving Jews guns. Of course, Ben Carson wouldn't kill Hitler himself. As a doctor, he swore first, do no harm. Second, give everyone guns. Now, I'm not running for president, but here's what I would do with a time machine. No, I, no, 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 no. <laughs> if I was, here's what I would do with a time machine. I, too, would travel back to the time of baby Hitler. But this is where me and Jeb's time streams start to diverge. Because I wouldn't kill young Adolf. I would take him from his parents and raise him with love. Hear me out. Hear me, okay, okay? I would give Hitler a safe, supportive home. All the while, I would watch him like a hawk. <laughs> I would let him join anything where they have to wear a uniform. No Cub Scouts, no Little League, definitely no marching band. <laughs> most importantly, most importantly, I would teach baby Hitler that we do not solve our problems with violence. And then, if he starts getting mouthy as a teenager, I stick a knife in his ribs and snap off the handle. <laughs> okay? And if... If that attack fails, and the horror of being stabbed by a person he thinks is his father turns him into a monstrous dictator, it's easily fixable. I just go back in time and kill baby me. <laughs> You're welcome. We'll be right back, unless we already are.